Hello. In this series of videos, we are going to cover the entire build of the C3DT slash C 3D printer that I designed some time ago. You might have seen it on Instructables.com where it actually won a, an award in the Make a Move contest. If you haven't seen it on Instructables.com, you might have seen it at the Midwest Rep Rep, Midwest Rep Rep Festival in 2018. And if not there, you might have seen it at various maker fairs across the country. I myself presented it at the maker fair in Milwaukee and I passed it on to 3 educators. Uh, dot org who has been taking it to other maker fairs across the country. So with that said, the C3DT printer is a printer that I designed. It's a cantilever printer. Uh, the aim was to make it a fully featured printer with lots of good features, but also one that would stretch the limits of a cantilever printer. So this is it. The C3DT as seen on Destructibles.com, and of course, I will have all the links in the bottom uh, of the video or below the video. This feature set is as follows The printer is a cantilever printer, it runs on Marlin, one of the later versions, uh, which put it on the latest as we build this. A build volume of 200 by 200 by 280 millimeters, uh, so X200, Y200, and then in height 280 millimeters. It uses Bowden extrusion. It comes with auto bed leveling using an inductive sensor. So this is where we're going to start to set the cells apart from some of the standard printers. It will have a heated bed. It's running on linear rails. It has parts cooling, which will be controlled by the software. It has a experimental controller cooling where all of the electronics are built on top of the PSU, which has a fan blowing air out of it, which and that air will then in turn move through the actual over through and over the control board, hopefully adding some additional cooling. It's optional, but it can come with a magnetic bed. Uh, the one that we were putting together will actually have the magnets incorporated into an aluminum bed, but it's also very easy to apply a bed like that with the Biltech flex plate system, which the original prototype that I built has that one. It's a comp compact design, so Using a cantilever, you use a little bit less space than a full frame printer. And last but not least, I thought I had to look great. Right. So in the next uh, series of videos, we will cover the entire build of the C3D TC uh, cantilever printer. Uh, we will look at the parts needed for the printer, and then we will go into each of the individual builds of the frame, the electronics, the, the power unit, the actual 3D printed part the different axes and by the end of this series we will have a entirely completed and operational uh, 3d printer so that would also include the setup of the software and the calibration of the inductive sensor and the x and y and z axes but if you're interested if you like what you see click the like button please subscribe to this channel and although I am doing all of this stuff for free, the design is for free. The, you can download the SDL files for free. This is not free for me. So if you really want to help me out, go over to my Patreon page and support me because I can certainly use the, the help. But without further ado, I would invite you to go over to the next video, which will have a close look in detail at all the different parts associated with the a C3DT C3D printer.